coerced my mom into sewing me outfits that were all monochromatic. So I had her sew me an entire outfit that was teal. When I was in first grade, I would rollerblade down the street in hot pink socks, a hot pink bow, and a hot pink crop top t-shirt. I had really high banks. I mean, the higher it was, the better. The night I met my future husband's family, I wasn't, I didn't know they were gonna be there, and I was wearing shorts that were very, very short, so short that I was dancing and they ripped a little in the back. My mom made me the best she costume you could ever imagine, and I got up to the first door and my skirt fell off. One day I wore my purple fleece pants to school, and it didn't go over well with the with the mean girls. Everything that I do, I want to do something for a cause, to give back. My mom is diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in February. I wear this ring on my finger every single day. It's a her engagement ring. I really learned that every single dollar that you can raise for a cause like that really counts. The Chicago Arts Coalition, um, putting art in the spaces that I design. Two years ago, I got involved with the Bare Necessity, pediatric cancer research that I have two kids. I have Nadia, who is five, and Enzo, who is two. And thinking about them being uh, sick and being in a hospital just really breaks your heart. I happen to be on the board of Common Threads. Um, besides my wife and my family, my favorite thing in the world is food. And I think it's so important to teach kids the, the value of nutrition. Dose Cause, we hook a nonprofit up with a free space at Dose and get them all set up, ready to sell, write about them, support them, promote them, and get them out there selling and telling people what they're doing and getting them involved. Bridging education and art together, or Beat NYC, we teach them how to beatbox, um, and specifically with the Lavelle School for the Blind. Something that's great about Marwin is that they, a lot of the kids don't have really great art departments in their high school, so they're coming here to get drawing classes, ceramics, um, and the fashion department is fairly new. They're so creative, it's the most raw talent I've seen, and it really is inspirational to be able to, to, to be part of that and help nurture them. Because you like putting smiles on people's faces. My lipstick color is fuchsia disco. <laughs> and I just made that up. <laughs> I feel like these glasses that I'm wearing right now kind of remind me of 9 to 5. I'm not really sure where, why. Yeah, but every time that I put them on, I think I channel like, I channel like Lily Tomlin or something in 9 to 5. I like anything lace and pink and sparkly. Um, and really try to express myself through shoes. And I love, I love mixing high and low. I think that's my favorite thing, is to have a few really staple, beautiful pieces, but mix it in with kind of the old, fun, you know, thrift store stuff. I like classic, feminine, simple pieces. I love color. I love tutu dresses, tutu skirts, uh, great shoes, of course, bags. I like things that are elegant, but at the same time, I like to add a little glamour to it. And when the kids are not around, I like a little rock and roll sexy look. It's okay. On the weekend, you know, I kind of go with like a party flannel, uh, or I might wear some <laughs> sweater or hoodie of sorts. But I like what I wear. It's all about the confidence. <laughs> I'm shifting into the pants phase of my life. <laughs> You're making a pregnant woman beatbox. This is so not right. Bye Chanel girls. <laughs> that, that's, that's as much as you're gonna get. <laughs> Wait, cut that out. Why would I say that? 